Hello everyone. In this video we'll be looking at um, when the player actually shoots at the enemy that the enemy deals XP to the character. So we'll be going over this system. It'll be using the instigator system that was actually mentioned in the uh, arrow tutorial. And this system can actually be expounded so that it, there's a little bit of an inheritance to where you don't have to declare this for every single damage dealer. Alright, let's get started. First thing we need to do is go into our first person character and create a health variable, or a XP variable, my bad. So you type in XP here, hit compile, and that is essentially our XP system right there. The only thing that um, after setting this part up is to um, create it so that if it hits a certain level to increase your level number. Okay, next we'll go to the enemy character and set it so that it will actually give you the XP when it dies. So let's create a variable called health. going to be a float and let's set the health to 10 just as an example so we want to say if any damage happens oops we want to make an if statement and the if statement will just say if health is greater than zero to set health minus whatever damage was dealt so that it will keep subtracting or whatever damage is dealt it will just keep subtracting until health is now at zero or below if it's not, then we're going to actually give it the XP. So the first, th actually, the first thing we need to do is um, get the instigated by, which is the controller that actually fired the gun. <clears throat> In this case, it would be our player controller. So we do get controlled pawn. Um, then we need to cast it to our. Um, first person character and all casting really is is it's taking whatever value gets spit out from here and make it so that um, it or it treats whatever value is here like this like whatever it's specified here so because um, I know that the player is going to be the one dealing all the damage out and there's no other characters on the board uh, I can go ahead and just say this However, if you want to have, let's say, a team versus team type of thing, the best thing to do is to use um, an inheritance system where you have, let's say, a base, um, uh, like uh, just like an abstract based type uh, character that will uh, that will um, have all these like base functionalities that both the enemy and you can use, so that when <clears throat> when you're doing something like this, when you're casting, you can cast to the base and deal damage that way. So that will still work. Um, I go a little bit into inheritance on the end of um, I think it's on the end of my foot placement tutorial series. Um, I talk a little bit about it and exactly what it means. So I encourage you to go ahead and look at that. Anyways, let's continue. So from here, we're going to drag out XP, get the XP, and then all we're really doing is setting the XP to be that plus whatever we want our um, this enemy character to be worth. So let's say 10. 
connect. And then at the very end, we destroy the actor. Destroy the enemy actor. Okay. And that is all for the enemy side. So now uh, we need to look into our first person projectile and make sure that everything is set properly here. Um, there, if you're following along in this um, in this video, you'll see a simulated thing here. Um, you don't really need that. That's just to awake physics and whatnot. So I just deleted this. But what is important is that we need to apply damage. Otherwise, everything that we did will be for nothing. Um, the damaged actor it will be the other thing that got hit. The actual damage dealt, uh, we're going to mark it as 10 so that it shoots it in at least two hits. And then for the event instigator, we're just going to get instigator controller, which will get the player controller, which in turn will get the pawn. <clears throat> Everything else is fine. Okay, so at this point, we should see the enemy character disappear when you shoot it. And at that moment that it dies, it will actually it actually transferred um, some XP to the to the player character. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll be creating our HUD and our actual leveling system so that you can instead of just gain XP become level 1, level 2, etc, etc. Um, and also make it so that when you're hopping in game on the top left corner uh, you can see the amount of XP you have and yeah, so I'll see you in the next one.